Amen. I don't like going to pity parties. <laughs> I don't. You know, I I mean, I, I'm very compassionate. I understand people go through things, and we all do. And I like to be compassionate with other people. But there comes a time and place when somebody's got the same old, same old. Day after day, month after month, week after week, when they start sucking the life out of you, when you decide, you know what? This is just an attention getter for me. Amen. They need to learn to stand on their own two feet. Amen. They need to learn to start living by faith Amen. and not by how they feel. Amen? Amen? It is wrong to use emotions to get what you want from other people. It is. It makes you a manipulator and an intimidator. And that there is nothing Christ-like about that. God is not manipulative. And God does not intimidate people. Years ago, I was in a church service. Actually, I think it was on the lower end of Mercer Street. There was this well-known preacher there. I'm not going to give names because somebody might know him. But he came to preach there, and I went to hear him preach. And it was one of those old-fashioned Pentecostal services. And he got up, and it, it, it really was a good service up to this point. He got to... Uh, Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. He got to this point in his service. If somebody can give him my notebook too. <laughs> he got to the point in the service. I was actually having a really good time worshiping the Lord. And I was pretty young at that time. But he got to a point in the service where he got up and he started screaming at people. And he said, you know what? The Spirit of the Lord is here. Now I want everybody here that's in the church to shout. I want you to jump and hoot and holler. And if you don't shout, and I see that you're not shouting, I'm going to come off of this pulpit and come back there and grab you by the hair of your head and I'm going to make you shout. <laughs> now, I, I'm going to tell you, you talk about some feelings and emotions. <laughs> I had something going on because I thought, well, Lord, you know, this is a man of God. Should I do it just because he said to do it? Because I was only 15, 16 years old. But I didn't feel like God wanted me to do it. I felt like if God wanted me to shout, I'd do it on my own. Nobody had to make me or intimidate me to shout. So I prayed. I was like, Lord, I'm not going to do it. And if he grabs me by the hair of the head, I'm going to get my daddy <laughs> to take care of him after church. <laughs> and you know, I didn't do it. And he, he didn't come out and grab anybody by the hair of the head. But to me, that was manipulation. That was him you know, trying to get out of that congregation what he wanted. There's times when I get up here. Yeah, I would love to see more response from you. I would love to see you get more involved. But you know what? The Holy Spirit's going to get a hold of you one of these days and make that happen. Amen. I'm not going to have to come back and work around myself. And we all worship in different ways. Amen. Amen. And to me, it doesn't matter whether you're shouting or jumping or running. You do whatever the Spirit of the Lord asks you to do. Amen. As long as you're worshiping God, it's all that matters. I'm not going to intimidate anybody. That, to me, that was wrong, and I have never forgotten it. And I think that was spiritual abuse. Amen. And there's a lot of people, especially some of us who grew up in those kind of churches, who have been spiritually abused. Amen. Amen. This is not a place to abuse people. Amen. This is a place for people to find God. Amen. 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 All right. I want everybody here to stand. Just go in and you see what it doesn't matter.